It's time for another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Today we've got one from Malaysia. This is from Meat Me. This is their Mums Pan Me. You may have heard of their Chili Pan Me that's been extremely popular. This one's a soup. I think. I'm going to go with I think. I'm going to follow the instructions that mention to make this as a soup. I didn't know that they... I, I was all expecting to use a plate. But that would not work as it says it is a soup. And here is the noodle. Right there. I'm going to drop it in. 500 mils of water for a whopping six minutes. And we've got some garnish. This is a uh, fried onion. This is anchovy where's the other sachets ah oh, there it is and we got this one which is a soup base. So. miles is out in the living room playing with the puppy being noisier than he should be shush it's hell folks it is absolute All right, that's enough. Go do something else now. The listening of children in our house has gone from eh to in like no time. Yeah. My, he's been yelling at teachers. Mind you, he's a third grader. My daughter, oh God, she's been taking stuff from the lost and found at school. I don't know. I blame it all on the internet. Isn't that the thing to do now? It's all Zuckerberg's fault. It's all the fault of uh, social media. <laughs> no, I don't, you know what I would go for first is YouTube because that YouTube gives you a feeling if you start watching videos, it all of a sudden turns into like, look at this product, look at how wonderful it would be to have this product. And you're like, oh, I don't have that. I don't have this. I don't have that. These are all things I want. I want. I want. You know. Do you need them? No. But it seems, and it's not like it was the intent by any means, but I have a kind of like, God, who was I listening to that brought this up? And I thought it was just like really true. YouTube has a way, especially on my daughter, of bringing forth this like almost carnal lust for material possessions. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, she started finding these little videos about, like, Oh, look, it's a little thing. It's a bag. You don't know what's inside, but it's a little kitty statue. It's like a little tiny kitty. Oh, my God, I need that. It's so cute. And it was just, like, 90% of the time. We, we pretty much have outlawed YouTube here, which is lame because I'm shooting a video for YouTube right now. But as far as the kids go, yeah, it's YouTube is the freaking devil. Oh, my God. It just makes them act like jerks. And on so many of the kids, there's like these little Romanian kids that like, they parade around with all these toys and stuff. I think they're Romanian. I could be wrong. It doesn't really matter where they're from, but it just seems like there's, these little girls get treated like princesses in their houses and everybody like acts stupid, but they're like portrayed as the smart ones and they just get all this stuff. Like, oh my god, she got this, she got that, she got this, she got that. Why don't I get all this stuff? It's because this is make believe. They're getting all this stuff. The parents are putting links in the description for Amazon Associates. So when you go and you go, ooh, that's so much fun. Do you want that, sweetie? Okay. And you click on the link, they get a cut. 
if you go to one of my reviews and you click on the link for something that goes to Amazon and you buy something, I get a cut. I'm transparent about that. But it's like I'm not trying to market to like little kids. And there's so much of that on YouTube. In fact, if you go on YouTube and they get into like the shorts, it gets like it goes from like, oh, cutesy stuff to like freaking cursing like a sailor really quick. So I don't know. I don't know what the, the fix is. I don't know if there is a fix. It's like when I was their age, I was riding my big wheels out on or in my bicycle going down to the beach looking under rocks you know that kind of stuff so times have changed technology is great I think seems that way usually it's it's pretty good I generally like my technology, except when it comes to my ring light that I got off of Amazon that is now dead. But I think I'm going to get something different. Eventually. Yeah. <sighs> Tonight it's... What are you doing? What do you mean nothing? What are you doing? What's that noise? Don't do it, okay? Thank you sound like maybe he's trying to cut the dog's toenails or his own. Uh, America. My wife used to work with a lady when she was just like ready to just like throw out a line of anger and stuff. She went, ah, God bless America. That's, you, know, you could tell the lady was ticked off. Okay. So I did what it told me to do. I really didn't expect that would be what I was told to do, but I'm doing it. I did it. So here's what we got. It's mom's pan. Mum. Hey, mum. Let's put your seasoning. Mum's special seasoning. the suit base, really. Okay, it doesn't seem like a lot, but we'll see what happens. Mm, it's, not. it's like kind of a light, lightish broth. Lightly scented. I gotta fix this lighting situation. Kind of a sweet fish. Hmm. Not at all like what I expected I was gonna be getting into when I made this one today. I literally thought this was gonna be like a a, a noodle that goes in a in a pan. I'm guessing pan me just refers to this style of noodle. Broad, flat. Let's give it a try. Nice chewy noodle. Pretty good broth. Another hit of that. Yeah, kind of like a fish broth. I like that. I do. And these guys got some other tricks up their sleeve, too. They sent a whole bunch of varieties. There's like a Tom Yum pan me. There's a bunch of stuff. I have to say, I was a little surprised about the last Tom Yum I had. The dog is unhappy, folks. She's sad. See, the dog is sad. And we are not paying 
very close attention to her. She's only nine weeks. She's a puppy. So this has our the wonderful anchovy. Fried anchovy. There, there, Louise. A little bit of fried onion. <clears throat> Seeing as we're doing all these different things that have the word fried in them. And seeing as I thought that this was going to be a dry noodle, let's add a fried egg. <laughs> I think maybe a little bit of extra tomato I have here. Today's reviews have gone really strange. Uh, not at all what I expected from either thing that I have tried. I've got a slice of chashu, but I really don't think it's fitting here. So it'll fit in my uh, in my mouth. Hmm. something else. Like, subscribe, helps me out, helps you out, helps the whole world out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.